What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. I just got to Miami. I drove like two hours. Um, met up with my boy Laz. We just got done tarpon fishing. We were out all night. Oh my god. And now we're going offshore. We're gonna go spear fish on Wahoo. Yeah, so, hopefully we'll get a giant Wahoo. That'll be sick. Yeah, that'll be sick. But, so um, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys at the ramp. All right, guys, we made it out the ramp. This this guy fell asleep through the whole ride, so. Woo. Need a little power nap. <laughs> it's way too cold out here. I don't even know how these guys are going diving, bro. Woohoo! it's oh, gonna be a cold one, y'all. <laughs> it is gonna be a cold one today. Big old gooch holes, back holes, bro. Yeah, that's, that's a raggedy. Yo, that's a raggedy. You'll be swimming, and one of Joe's nuts will just pop out. <laughs> dude, it's like the worst thing in the world, bro. So this is like God-given flasher or something like that. <laughs> it's a little extra chunk of water. Got them diamond cutters, bro. Cut 80 pound wire with that. With these right here. <laughs> Holy Jesus, that's why they call me Spear Jesus. Yeah, that shit is thin, my boy. All right, marking the rack right now. You ready? Let's see how it's looking, boys. All right, neutral? Yeah, we're neutral. Get in. You're neutral? Yes. Right now, baby. Right there. No luck doing the wahoo and no Ooh. luck on the wrecks. <laughs> Yo, Jaden, we're hopping in for some stone crabs. Hey. I guess Joe got some bugs too. Let's get some more of these guys, hopefully, some more lobsters, and have an epic feast. Alright you guys, so this is what the stone crabs look like out of water. As you guys can see, this stone crab's got one keeper claw on them, and the other one's too small, but check out how beautiful these crabs are. I mean, look at the detail on its shell. Just a beautiful creature overall. So yeah, we're gonna pop this right, right claw off, keep that, and then let it go. We'll have this crab back on its way, living healthy, and uh, growing more claws out for us so we can come back out here and catch some more. <laughs> that boy is slumped. I brought out a whole ocean, it's just that simple, like. <laughs> 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 
Bring, bring, who is it? It's the crabs calling, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. boy. Wow, look at the size That's of that crazy. claw. That's not even the biggest. Hey, don't even put it's those in your pile. Man. These <laughs> these <laughs> going on a broil. Not if I steal one first. <laughs> Right, Jesus look, look Christ! Hey, those hey, are those personal packs hey, right there. Up. Uh, donate. What's down there? Claws? <laughs> God damn! Any keepers back there? Nice. Beautiful spiny lobsters. lobsters. We might have started the day a little bit weak, but we always like to end the day strong. And uh, you know, there's always something to grab out here, so it's nice. Nick! All right guys, so uh, we just got back to the ramp. We got a bunch of stone crab and some lobsters and uh, we're gonna go cook them up at the house. See you guys there. Yo, Alex, I think we got a problem. We got a fire, bro. Dude, this thing's a little hot. Oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> this is a serious problem, guys. So we were actually planning on cooking the stone crab on the grill. How you cook these things is you get a pot, just like so, and uh, you fill it up with water, you get it to a boiling temperature, and then you throw the stone crabs in for about 10 minutes. But yeah, we're just hoping this water boils. I've never done it on a grill before, so I don't know if it's gonna work. We might have to move it back inside, but uh, we'll see very soon. It's been about, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. And it hasn't even started boiling, so. <laughs> that. All right, so now we're back in the house. Change of plans, we're not gonna cook it on the grill. And uh, yeah, we got our stone crabs here. We're just gonna wait for this to boil. Finally, look, it's already boiling almost. Look at that. <laughs> That's the stone crab dance. We're about to get on some stone crabs. We're about to be eating good, y'all. One of my favorite <laughs> meals is stone crab, just so you guys know. So I forgot to mention you guys, um, one thing you guys want to definitely do before you guys boil your stone crabs, you're going to want to add salt to your water or use salt water. Um, this is the salt that I'm using right here and we're just fine. I've used it plenty of times. And uh, you just want to add a little bit in there or a lot. <laughs> I like just about that much. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, it's boiling now. We're going to drop these stone crabs in there. We're going to do it. Um, I just want to point out real quick how giant these stone crabs are you guys like these aren't even the biggest ones we've caught but these are some absolute hosses you guys but i'll show you the biggest one we caught today oh my god i mean look at that compared to my hand like you guys tell me where you guys have seen a stone crab bigger than that that's a jumbo let's throw them in the pot just set them in there just like so i'm gonna start with the giants today and one thing I want to mention as well is you always want to boil your stone crabs the day you catch them. You do not want to put them on ice too, that's another thing, because what happens is when you put them on ice, all your meat, you'll see in just a minute when we crack these open, all your meat will stick to the shell. And uh, that's just no bueno, you do not want to do that. So uh, yeah, don't put them on ice, make sure they stay in like a nice bucket of, of cold water, you know, something from the sea temperature or whatever, and just keep recycling the water. But besides that, don't put them on ice. Yeah, guys, we're gonna keep tossing these in there, fill it up as much as we could. I think we can get them all in there. What do you think, Alex? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Without burning myself. Whoa! Forget <laughs> it, bro. Yo, <laughs> this so is the third time he burns. His these things get hot from the grill, <laughs> and I keep forgetting. So it has been 10 minutes, you guys, and now it's time. Let's grab our stone crabs, put them in the strainer, let's get this water out. This is gonna be a little sketchy here, boily. I do not suggest you guys do this, but oh, we'll be very, very slow. And you're gonna dump all this water out into a strainer or however you guys wanna do it. I like to use a strainer. Whew. So as soon as you take them out and you put them in your strainer, you're gonna to wanna to throw them right into a big old bucket of ice water or bowl of ice water. Um, let's do it. Straight from the hot to the cold. Perfect, you guys. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do, get them all soaked down in the water. And uh, what this does is it just really, really, really 
in my opinion, helps the flavor and just helps that meat harden up this cold water and uh, just makes it perfect once you crack that shell to uh, get the meat out. So uh, we're gonna add a little bit of water here. Can you give me a hand here, Alex? Yeah, so adding water, you guys. Make sure you get them all wet. Like I said, all submerged in that ice cold water. And we're gonna let these sit for about 10 minutes. And uh, we'll be back to you guys in 10 minutes. So, in tradition to my buddy Alex over here, being a first timer, never actually tried stone crabs. Have you actually ever been out on a stone crab mission and caught any, seen it, been done? Yeah, no? I've seen one before. Okay, so he's seen him, he's seen him around, but he's never caught him. So in tradition to actually being a first timer, we're gonna have him try the first stone crab. So uh, I'm gonna show you how we crack them open. It's a pretty simple process over here. I got some tools right over here that are actually very, very helpful. And uh, we got a lovely plate of butter right there. We heated that up in the microwave. I'm gonna crack it now and uh, I'll just, you can eat it. You can try the first one. Buddy. No, no, no. Yeah. Buddy. It's a tough one. <laughs> it's not that easy, huh? All right, you guys, I've actually never actually had a stone crab. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Drunk. It's not only me. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, if you guys ever have a stone crab that doesn't wanna crack, come over here, grab your biggest spoon. Biggest spoon in the drawer. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that spoon and hit it really hard around the top of the stone crab shell and see if it busts open. It's a little bit messier than these tools, but what you gotta do, what you gotta do. Boom. There you go, first shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a mess to clean up later. Boom. All right, Alex, so uh, take all that off. Let's see. Take all that off and uh, dip it in butter, and then there's gonna be a little piece in the middle. Yeah, all that's good. Don't worry about the white stuff. That's good stuff. I bet. Oh, that's good. So yeah. yeah, you can grab it like that, that's fine. Now dip it up in that butter. Look at that. Dip it in that butter. First, first timer. Let me know how it is, let me know how you like it. Is it good? That's good, bro. Heck yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed that it. That is really good. It's either a hit or miss with stone crab, honestly. I've heard a lot of people say they like it. I've heard a lot of people say they don't like it. It just depends, honestly, your, if you like it or not. So yeah, I'm glad my buddy likes it. We're gonna absolutely tear these up. Boom, you guys. I mean, just amazing how good these things are. It's like candy for me. Cheers, y'all. How's that? It don't get any better than that. In my, <laughs> opinion, my favorite type of crab right here. Um, so sweet and just, you taste the salt water. Literally, you caught up today. You can taste a little bit of the salt water taste, a little bit of that hender in there. <laughs> that stuff's fire. I really recommend you guys try it. All right, we're gonna put the camera down actually because we're, we're all starving. Yeah, we're gonna eat up now and then we'll see you guys in a little. So here's our lobster from today. Simple way of actually um, attaching the head from the tail or detaching the head from the tail. You're just gonna grab it. Usually you wanna use gloves and uh, just gonna spin it. It's a little tough, but a little bit of power, you can get it. Boom, just like that. You got the head and the tail. The head's not really too much meat in there. Some people like to eat it. Me personally, I'll eat it here and there, but I like the tail. The tail is, the tail is gold. So you'll grab your tail next step. And uh, one thing you want to do here too that's actually super cool is you're gonna grab your antenna, break it in half. And uh, these lobsters actually have a poop vein as you guys can see there, or their poop vein or just a nasty vein in their body. I don't know exactly what it is. And you're actually gonna stick this antenna back in the behind. Push it all the way up and uh, just pull it out just like so. There you guys go. You see that? We just got the whole poop vein out. And uh, this lobster is clean and ready to be eaten. There you go. Boom. <sighs> wow. Beautiful, you guys. This has got to be another one of my favorites from down here in South Florida. The spiny lobster. So for preparation with the lobster, it's gonna be kind of similar. I'm gonna just uh, put some butter on it and let her go on the grill. There we go, you guys. We got the lobster just straight on the grill. You can put it to tin foil just like we did here, but um, for today, we just we're just rolling it right on the grill. We're going raw dog. Put a little bit of lemon juice on it. 
That's man, gonna be good. That smells amazing already, you guys. There's nothing like a fresh lobster literally caught three or four hours ago. We, we killed so it, good. brother. We killed it. Give me some. Killed it, bro. Thank yes, you. Sir. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, today's episode, actually. We got two more parts coming out. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be cleaning up a bunch of piers with Laz and my boy down there. And um, oh, yeah, after yeah. that, <laughs> after that, we're going to come back to Miami and uh, fish some marinas and do some, probably do another catch, clean, cook, maybe. Who knows? I mean, anything can, anything can happen out here. So, hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.